It's not actually that uncommon for our white sharks um, tagged in the Atlantic to move into the Gulf of Mexico during this overwintering period. Um, as a matter of fact, we've just submitted a paper for publication on that very subject, the extent that which uh, white sharks are utilizing this area and how important it is. So what we found basically was that uh, of the, all the sharks we've tagged in the Atlantic, and that includes ones tagged in Canada, in the off Massachusetts and in the Southeast US, 62% of them have spent some time in the Gulf of Mexico or the Straits of Florida during the overwintering period. So it tells us that this part of, the, of, of their habitat or their range, the Gulf of Mexico that is, is really, really important. Um, we don't know exactly what's drawing them there to travel that far, but um, it's quite likely that the abundant food source, uh, the abundant food is a part of the story. Now, the area that uh, Ormond is moving toward right now is just east of the DeSoto Canyon. And that area up in the Northeast, there's sort of a deep water little channel um, into the sort of the panhandle of Florida. We know that can be a very productive area. There's uh, eddies and upwellings that create localized areas of productivity, which can concentrate smaller fish, which can concentrate bigger fish. The types of fish and prey and dolphins and other things, the types of things that white sharks may get attracted to. So Orman's movement is definitely not all that unusual. What's a little unusual is the fact that our last ping from Orman was in November 4th in off North Carolina. And we've got this big gap in time and space before he sent us another location up in the Northeast. So why that is, is, is hard to say for sure. It's possible that Orman during that gap at that period of time simply wasn't spending much time at the surface um, such that the spot tag could give us a signal. It's also possible that Orman's tag has some biofouling or, or marine growth on it um, during that period that was preventing it from tag from transmitting because it, it can mess with the, with the tag's uh, functionality. But then something may have changed when it got into the Gulf perhaps some of that algae could have sloughed off the tag and that's now allowing it to, to transmit.